truth was a troubled man. A scholar turned slave. They tortured him. Took him with them on their raids. And drove him to madness. Spreading this new form of darkness to new worlds. To my world. Senua saw a deep connection form between the Northmen and the darkness. If his tales of hell were true, then that was the source of it. She learned everything she could from him, until she too could see what he saw. Have you ever died before? It's a serious question. When the illusion of self is shattered, you simply cease to be. Though it may not seem that way to others, you know when it is true. You can feel it. A stranger in your own body. An imposter. And nothing is the same ever again. Senua has died before. And she will do so again. You can be sure of that. the mark of Valraven and the mark of Surt, you may cross the bridge over the river of knives to Helheim. Why is she waiting? Open, open the gate. Open the no, gate. Don't. don't. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. Don't open the gate. Don't. Don't. She's done it. no one here but me. Not you. Did you think that I would let you go? That you lost me back in the wilds? I will never let you go. You can't get rid of me. I am your shadow. And I will be watching when you draw your last dying gasp. I'm not ready to die. You 
will be when you see what they did to your dear beloved. they came through stormy black seas they raided these shores do you still hear his screams and now that your home he's so far away they've taken his soul These gods you cannot pray. They can break you, but not your promise. Even death won't keep you apart. Through his darkness you will find him in your sword still beats a heart. You fought for love unspoilt by your darkness within. You fought for your dreams. Now there's no way to win. In the head of his corpse lies the seat of his soul. So you must carry his vessel to bring him back home. still beats a heart. The darkness touched you. Everyone could see it in the hollows of your eyes. A gaze averted from light. You ran from it but brought it nearer. Led it to him. An endless suffering worse than death. And you wanted to surrender. Abandoned to find peace with the gods. No. The darkness won't allow it. So you will walk into the lair of the beast. Look it in the eye, and you will go to war. This is your mission. This is your quest. There is nothing else left. It's your calling. He's done. Finish it. Why set up a pass when there is a new road ahead? The only one that makes any sense.
every gate you open into darkness brings another chance. However you come to the gold-covered bridge that leads to hell, you may find it guarded by a giantess. She will ask your name. She will ask your lineage. She will ask your business. The Northmen tell of the warrior woman Brynhild, who leapt into fire and rode to hell to join her slain love Sigurd, and is challenged by the giantess. The journey to Helheim is never a straight one. Each must find their own path. Align yourself to its secrets, and you will find yours.
Hela possesses large dwelling places in Helheim. Tall are her walls, high are her gates. The name of her dish is hunger. Her knife is famine. On her threshold all will stumble. Her bed is called sick bed, and her bed hangings are called flames of a funeral pyre. They say she is easy to recognize, half black and half the color of flesh. And her face, menacing and grim. What are you doing? You're showing weakness. You're not a warrior. You're a disgrace. The gods will punish you for this. Pick up the sword. Pick it up. Fight the darkness. Fight it. Get up. Get up. Get up and fight! Stormy seas and lost souls. She's dreamt of this before. They say dreams are visions of our memories, thoughts, and fears, as seen by our inner eye. But what if each one of us is always dreaming, even when awake, and we only see what our inner eye creates for us? Is this what hell is? A world shaped by Senua's nightmares? Maybe that's why people feared seeing the world through her eyes. Because if you believe that Senua's reality is twisted, you must accept that yours might be too. You fail the gods. You're pathetic. Rotten. Cursed. What were you thinking? Did you really think you could win? How stupid can you be? So stupid. Everyone hates her. She's a curse. The shadow of hate. Look at you. A warrior. Worthless. Weak. Pathetic. Go on. Feel sorry for yourself. Because there's no one left to do that for you. Everywhere. What's that? Take it. If you're too much of a coward to fight, then end the suffering. 
broke and lost. Just Do like it. your Go sword. It. Come on. There. <laughs> <laughs> Why go on, when you give everything and face that which torments you, only to find that it is worse than you could have imagined? Why go on? Is it really so weak to ask this? Or are we just so afraid of the honest answer that we do not dare pose the question? Sometimes the answer lies in a memory, a feeling. Song. It's a song. It's not real. It's true. It's not real. Please listen, Dillian. She can't Dillian. give up. Dillian. Dillian, it's not like this. It's not real. It can't. It's not real. It's real. It's a trick. Don't trust it. Maybe you're already dead. Who are you? Do you still believe in me, Sarah? Before she first met him, she was not in a good place. Just a teenager, but not like the others. Barely functioning, she rarely left the house. Her father's in bell made sure of that. Only occasionally did she venture out on her own, collecting firewood and herbs. Errands out in the Orkney Plains. That was her world, like this one, barren and lonely. Senua, there will be times that you will feel alone and exhausted, like a strange little fish swimming against the tides of the big ocean. But have the faith to let go and let the tide carry you away. Because the whole ocean is your home, and it does not ask you to swim against it. It's 
already disappeared. Nothing lives here, not even you. It's pointless. It's in your mind. You think you can see it, but it's in your mind. There he was. Where is he? The lone figure of a boy. He's there, under the tree. Sword play under the shade of a tree. She remembers the first time she saw him. To her young eyes, he moved as if dancing. And the world danced with him. He's there. The gloom lifted. For the first time in years, she felt a ray of hope. The Northmen tell of a great hero. His name is Sigmund. His father's hall was built around a great tree, and one day, Odin comes and thrusts a sword into the tree, a gift to whomever can release it. Many try, but the sword only comes out at Sigmund's touch. His brother-in-law, King Sigir, wants it, but Sigmund refuses him, so King Sigir plots revenge. He invites Sigmund and his brothers to a feast, but when they arrive, they are met with an army, not a warm welcome. King Sigir captures Sigmund and his brothers, steals his coveted sword, and readies them for execution. Death for Sigmund and his brothers seems certain. But the king's wife is Sigmund's sister, and she begs for mercy and implores the king to chain them up instead. He agrees. Not for mercy, though, but because he plans an even more cruel and lingering death. Chained to a tree in the forest that night, a she wolf comes and devours one of Sigmund's brothers. She returns, ravenous, night after night until only Sigmund is left. The next day, Sigmund's sister sends a servant with honey to smear on Sigmund's face. But to what end? Well, that night, when the she-wolf appears again, you'll never guess what happens.
afar, she mimicked him, perfecting her own secret dance. Wishing those fleeting moments of light would stretch out to last forever. As the she-wolf licks the sweet honey from Sigmund's face, he bites the wolf's tongue. The she-wolf pulls away, but Sigmund holds on. The chains break, and he is free. After his escape, Sigmund lives like us, hidden in the forest. His enemy, King Sigir, believing him dead, as his sister plots revenge. And for vengeance to succeed, even the great Sigmund needs help. So she sends her sons to him. But their blood is weak and corrupted, and they're put to death by Sigmund. So his sister hatches a new plan, one that is cold of heart and pure of blood.